Hi, Taurus Moon. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Pim Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Taurus. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread of love, money, and you, and then clarifying those three cards. I'm also going to do a moon reading at the very end so let's go ahead and begin everything's been pre-shuffled but i will if i remember to um i will uh shuffle the decks again once i bring them back in we'll go ahead and do this one first for taurus moon love money and you i'm seeing the letter v for victory taking reversals let's see what we have for your love card we have the six of pentacles so this is beautiful we have the energy of being given back to but i feel that for a lot of you this is how you're being seen um as a great humanitarian energy here being in a position of um, power and abundance here where you're able to also give back Restoring balance, just being a great person who is of service, uh, one who's very balanced as well. And then uh, this being your energy here, which is beautiful, the pinnacle, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Six is being about unconditional love as well. And then also being connected to Virgo energy, so that V could also be for Virgo, <laughs> which is super cool. But yeah. Balancing the scales. It could even be about someone giving back to you. All right. Perfect. So that's nice and simple. I like that. Let's see what we have for your money card. Ching, ching, ching. Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. This is your card here. Very much in your element here. Like a boss. Shining, glowing, and glossy. Um, as I like to say, for the Queen of Pentacles, the first thing, warm and nurturing, but also being very secure, very stable, having great intuitiveness, one who is a sharer, and not so much as the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is great at investing and knowing how to increase on that money. The Queen is too, but it's more about sharing. So you have strong energy of sharing and being a great giver here, which is wonderful. There's a, a very lighthearted and delightful and loving energy with the glow of the yellow that's coming through too. And then we have more of your energy here. Very grounded energy here with the Pentacles. Another Pentacle card here. Two Pentacle cards so far which is awesome. You may be a lover of the mountains. You're looking forward to the future. And um, I see an energy of sitting pretty. The queen energy is a part of empress energy as well, where all four queens create the empress energy. So this just being the component of the element and with it being in money, you just being right on track. Jack. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. This is perfect. You could be male or female. This is just speaking to the feminine energy. There is a, you know, a very slight distinction between the, the king and the queen, excuse me. But being very fruitful and um, knowing how to multiply. That pinnacle is very big. And I feel that speaks to you overall, having the energy of abundance with Taurus being exalted when it comes to the moon. And just being on top of it, being very practical, knowing how to distribute and take care of your finances, but also how to attract it. I'm seeing great beauty here too. So that may be connected to the pinnacle and how it is that you gain finances. 
Or it just it just comes naturally to you because you're very strong Venus energy here. Even with the moon energy, that being very strong feminine energy. So you just being completely in your ultra power here. This is lovely. But I was going to say too, I see the profile energy. So a lot of you, I feel you're in love with yourself. And that's a great, that's a great trait to have. But also possibly being a lover of your profile and your bone structure. Just really loving yourself and there being a great, happy, abundant energy that's a part of the magnetism that draws money to you just being a, a big old pinnacle yourself. As within, so as without. So that's bomb. Let's see what your next card is for you. Come on, Taurus Moons. How awesome are y'all? This is my Taurus moon reading, and that's it. <laughs> you got the moon here, and I just feel this speaks to you. Rising above situation, but you being this big-ass pinnacle, just like I said. That's what I see here. As within, so is without. And you're making it very clear. You don't even need to make it clear. This is just you. Being completely in your power. I love this because the title that I um, channeled for you was Gladiator. You're amazing and bossing and you have, you know, equal exchange is also a, like everything you put out, you're getting back and you do it because of the heart, the good heart that you have, the kind heart that you have, the warm and nurturing soul that you are. I'm getting a lover of children too. Just being so completely empress in all your glories. Having gone through, you know, a lot here too, because it takes a lot to get to queen status. It doesn't just come. Even though for some of you, being Taurus Moon, <laughs> it's very well possible. But getting to queen status, it takes hard work and effort and continuance and persistency and consistency. You definitely stayed the course and know what you needed to do. And you continue to be in a position, putting yourself there and staying there, rising above. I'm also seeing that here. And being seen for your glow up. A great mother possibly here too. With strong moon energy. You being toward. I mean it's. I, I can't really. It's just you. <laughs> it's just you. This is you. All of it. Balanced. Taurus energy. Very rich. Wealthy. Abundant. Beautiful. Comforting. Luxurious. And then being special in your moon power here. This is so pretty. This 18 comes together to create a nine that's speaking to completion, but it's also Sagittarius energy, which is even more abundant as energy being ruled by Sagittarius. Or excuse me, <laughs> being ruled by Jupiter. I was going to say Pisces is in the mix here too, because Jupiter is also a ruler of Pisces. This is a Pisces card as well. Strong Cancer energy, too, with the moon being the ruler of Cancer. So that just speaking to the loving heart, the security. Um, yeah, this is this is wonderful. I could speak on this for the entire reading, but I think I think we get it as clear as day. And I feel that that's how you are, too. There's no there's no mystery with you. You know, the moon card doesn't always have to be about secrecy or mystery or any of that. It speaks to the depth of emotion and how really deep you can go and how you are. So being Taurus energy, being exalted, you're powerful. This is powerful energy here. Let's see what's on the bottom. Now this is in reverse, but we're not taking, not taking reversals. Uh, this could just be energies that are fighting over you. Competition. Having more than one option. The competition coming through just because you're a boss. Effortlessly. it's This was effortless. Completely effortless. And because of that, it just, the aura, the pheromones, everything about you, it could trigger certain individuals that don't have these traits, that aren't born with these traits. But they have their own specialness and significance. 
It just comes off a little different because of you being a Taurus moon. Everybody's not meant to be here for the same things. So there's people that may not understand this and just want to be in this energy. I feel you're not even paying attention. You don't have time for that. And that's how you're in this energy here, which is even more delightful. I love your reading. Oh my goodness, gladiator. All right, let's get to your clarifiers. <laughs> Five energy is about transformation. So it could be to, you know, your presence and your purpose. How it is you've grown up and shown up. Being a great humanitarian, one who's of service. Being given back to here too. Someone really loves you is also what I'm getting and wants to give back to you. And there's just some, you know, some, I want to say stank energies that aren't appreciative of this and would rather act out. But this possibly being for them to go through a transformation themselves because it's not going to affect anything that's happening here. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. that love being given back to in a very special way is the ace of cups overflow of love and i do feel that this is connected to you having self-love and knowing how to give that love and being in a, being in a position to be able to give it back this is overflowing water here. So I feel that this is a lot of love that's coming for you and towards you after you having this from within and extending this out to others. It being gifted back. The slice of life is also what I'm hearing. There being a great amount of water here too. Not only is it overflowing, but it's covering this in almost the entire card here. And then this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Ephesus. Aces have nothing to do with the past. Someone really wanting to love on you and give back everything that it is that you've been giving. I love this. Let's see what's on the bottom. Ooh, tower. Tower of power. So a definite breakthrough uh, coming through. This could be for past energies that may have been selfish could have possibly breadcrumbed you too because that energy is here but on the up and up i feel having dealt with that if you did deal with that in the past you have this overflow of love coming towards you and this being groundbreaking here and it could be the reason why we have this here because there's a breakthrough of something that's meant to come through for you that's coming towards you Towers are about, um, you know, things being brought down that no longer served. So things that were being built up possibly on, you know, lies, deception, the breadcrumbing, falsities. Universe sees all and sees that, you know, this was going on too long, too far, being built up too high and needs to come down. So that there can be new. I see two people over here that could be significant. Take what resonates. My nose is itching. All right, let's go ahead and we'll clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this wants to give message, so we'll take it. We have the Princess of Swords. So you being watched, and I was getting that here, rising above being this huge pinnacle here, being seen. You ain't got time for it though. <laughs> like I'm just seeing like, you focusing on yourself and your pinnacle. And we're not even gonna cover that up. 
But they're spying on that pinnacle there too is what I'm getting. And your successes, but it's meant for you. It's designed and that's what makes you who it is that you are. There's no way to get around that. And nothing, again, that can affect that. So as much as this energy wants to be present, it, I'm getting it very much being this energy here of spying. And the tower moment possibly being, you know, anything that tried to keep you in a sense of lack because there is a five before the six here. Five of Pentacles is coming through and we do have the five energy here with the five of rods. So that five of Pentacles uh, being left out in the cold, there being lack energy, all that is coming through here where someone may have wanted that for you. It's just not possible because it's not meant for you. I don't even want to keep this here. We'll put it over here. All right. And you're so much in your power. I feel like any kind of clarifier to clarify you would not come through in the way that it should because you're here in your element here. So it's going to be outsider energy that wants to come through and that possibly being why we have this here. Immature spying. Princesses are the page in this deck here. And this is the cosmic tarot. Let's go ahead and clarify the moon. Hard work pays off. Eight of Pentacles. Because you do the work. It's physical work here. This is lovely. This is lovely. So with this coming underneath the moon here too, this could be speaking to you um, possibly um, doing your work in the night. But I just get, you know, again, this just being your hard work paying off and you being seen as this beautiful pinnacle and what you represent overall. You were born into this world as this pinnacle, as this beautiful pinnacle, and you continue to do the work that you need to do to keep rising up, to keep glowing up. And it's, I just, I feel it's completely effortless. Um, a energy is connected to uh, Scorpio. So it could be a cold energy, um, Dealings and partnerships connected to this. I see a rose of healing in the middle here. And I feel that this is speaking to you and just your, your destiny. Eights are also very abundant energy. I'm getting connected to Saturn. Saturn being the ruler of Capricorn and Aquarius. And then we do have your energy here again with the Pentacles. And that also being Capricorn and Virgo. So all the earth energy that is coming through here for your reading, you could have those significantly in your chart, all those signs. And it could be too, because um, I'm getting like you looking and seeing all of this. And I was getting an energy of going from a nine, or excuse me, an eight to a nine, and a nine to a 10. Coming out of a seven of pentacles of waiting. So it could be too that, um, you know, this is a part of some seven of pentacle energy you've left behind now being in this eight, working very hard. And you're seeing it pay off. It may not be happening in the way that you wanted to. But with this eight of pentacle here, please know that um, your hard work is paying off. Or you may not be seeing it right now, but I see like a scope here of a light being shined to help you to see there is that rose. And I feel that this represents you, but seeing yourself here, spirit wanting you to see all the work that it is that you're doing and just how great it is that you are and to know that it is going to pay off. There is this ring here where I feel this is speaking to a wheel of some shift of some sort here too. Cause I got that right away, your hard work paying off. It not being in vain. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, you may be tired. Tired of this. <laughs> Here's the fiber rods. We have this here. You're tired and you're over it. And you have the stability energy here of a four of rods that's in front of you here. It's being strong masculine energy. I feel that's 
correlating here with this feminine energy that's here. Bear, I'm just getting like being totally focused towards your future and to greater stability here. Where there may have been a snake lurking in the bushes. This being behind you though, and I feel that this snake here may have been connected to this lion energy here. You transmuting this energy and owning it with a new start here. Ooh, I'm also picking up something a little different here. So I see two people. I see a beast energy here, possibly connected to this energy here. This could be a Gemini person that you're putting behind you who's very tricky. And that being a part of the sword energy. This being that energy here connected to that fiber rod that wanted to be connected to this here, that's fine. This could be a person here who's coming forward that's connected to you as a part of a four of rods here. And that being the competition energy for this person here. So you may be like, I'm getting like an energy of, you know, not necessarily waiting, but wanting to see more for yourself. And maybe that's why this all, is all coming through in the way that it is too, to help you to know even more your worth and your value, but to know that what you're doing and the work that you've been putting in, again, is not in vain. And you do have someone here that I am picking up now that um, is seeing you and possibly wanting to come forward and towards you. They may have been making a change from within themselves where this snake being on that one rod there could be speaking to like some in and out behavior connected to sexual activity uh, fuckboy behavior, playing around, not taking things seriously, and you learning from this and focusing on yourself. But someone here is tired of the competition, so that helping them to step up, and you also standing up for yourself, working very hard, is also, I feel, bringing about a change. This is another nine of change here. Completion, coming into endings and new beginnings. I was picking that up with both of these being at the bottom of the deck and then the fiber rods coming through. Yeah, there's that magician energy. No longer seeing a six of cup happen where I feel you've left someone behind. And now they're spying because you left them behind, but they also may have been competition and competing with someone else here that is after you and your heart. And they could be a Sagittarius person here. All right, let's get to your moon card. So it may be, too, that you've made a choice or have just decided to focus on yourself and not partake in any of that whatsoever. Because I do see Ace of Pentacle, you have Ace of Cup, newness, newness, hard work paying off here. That's even more newness, moving towards a nine energy of completion to come into the ten. Let's get your moon card for Taurus Moon. One card for Taurus Moon. The Nine of Wands, too. I don't want to take away from what's from within you because we do have feminine and masculine energy. So as within, so as without. This is about overcoming and having great success. So overcoming this fiber rods here and having this new beginning here connected to stability with the four rods there. Being strong and stable and unfuckwithable. One card for Taurus Moon. Because again, I don't want to take away from your power. I feel this is all coming out in the way that it should. Speaking to the balance from within you as masculine and feminine. 
But it working out in some way here too, where I feel you do have someone who is seeing you and wants to come towards you that may have been a part of a competition here with another person that you've moved behind or past that may have been breadcrumbing you and may have been selfish. You not having it, learning from it, glowing up from it, and now they're spying. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So again, you're very much in your power. You already know the name of this game. I don't even know if I need to read this card, but I will. I will. I will. Let me find the reading here. And we did just have a full moon. So that being even more of a powerful statement. And the change that uh, may be very significant for you that has taken place. All right. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical. And sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want. And I feel that that's what's happening here. By imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it. But you need to balance that with taking down-to-earth steps towards your goals. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list or bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. And I feel like you're doing a great job. All right, attune to the moon by writing down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Additional meanings for this card. Laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. Take what resonates for this as everything is not going to apply. Change, or excuse me, chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy creates negative energy and attracts negativity. More exercise is called for. I almost feel like this is you speaking lessons to the energies of those you've left behind or who are a part of this five of rods energy. Because you're totally in your element and you're representing, like I said, like it's effortless for you here. You know what you're doing. So I feel that what's coming through connected to this moon card is almost like a reflection for others who are on that lower vibration. I'm totally getting this now. I don't even feel like I need to read the rest of this. So actually, I'm going to stop there. I'm not even going to finish because I feel like that message is more for, again, who it is that you left behind or who could be spying and cross-watching as well. So we're just going to leave it there. You don't you don't need any extra guidance here. It's all coming through. Um, outside energies may want to infiltrate, but you're on top of it. You're on top of it. You're unstoppable and you're shining and you're very much in your power, doing your thing. You're in your element. You got it going on wonderful thing here Taurus moons i love it keep doing what you're doing um because yeah you're, you're you're doing fantastic that's all Taurus moons this was your reading i hope that these messages were helpful enlightening empowering and enriching here for you i thank you all so much for your continued love and support welcome to all new subscribers and until we meet again i wish you all the very best take great care gladiators i love you peace